Let us use the content management tool to migrate a particular use case, not the whole demo system as I did before, but I want to migrate this rule and all of its dependencies. If we take a look at this rule, the WannaCry detect, we can see that it involves any flow event matches any one of these reference sets. So let's actually go into the admin tab, I mean a curator community edition, and we're going to migrate the content of this rule to uh, my 731. You can use the CMT to migrate from uh, a particular version of Curator to either the same or newer, uh, but not uh, from newer to older. So if we go to the reference set back to our rule that we want to migrate and we sort these by alphabetically, we see the wanna cry, we have all these reference sets and we want to migrate everything that this rule actually require. So the process of doing that consists in actually executing the, uh, after you SSH into the box, of course, uh, you can execute this command for invoking the CMT tool uh, in the OPT curator bin directory content management. And the option that's H, does, uh, dash H search is, uh, well, show me all the things that I can search for and the tool comes back with this list of things. So in our case, we want to find out what is the ID in the Postgres database of this particular rule, the WannaCry detect rule. But I can search for dashboard report, uh, safe searches, and you know all these things. The network hierarchy is covered, as I, made, as I showed in the previous video on this uh, playlist, uh, using a, uh, an app for exporting the network hierarchy. So after you know what you are uh, searching, f uh, you're going to be looking for, you're going to execute a command similar to this. You execute again the content management script, the dash A is for action, and you say, well, I want you to search. And I want you to, the, the, the content that I want you to uh, search for is custom rules and I want you to do it via a regex, that's the dash R option. And notice that I'm putting here a regular expression that basically says uh, do this uh, case insensitive. Uh, if you remember the, the one cry has a uppercase W but I'm, I'm searching uh, anything that has the one cry. And the tool comes back to us with all these things that are related to WannaCry. And the one that we particularly want, it is the WannaCry detect. So let's say that this is the one that we actually, we want to uh, uh, export first. So the next step involves to op uh, create a text file. I'm going to use VI here. I prefer Nano, but I don't have it. Uh, I'm not, uh, Probably I do have it here. But I'm, I'm going to use just VI, which uh, works in any version of Curator. Uh, so, and you are going to create a file. I'm going to call it, uh, for example, rule IDs. I'm going to make it plural because let's say that there's more than one. And in this particular file, all you need to do, oops, let me uh, actually, you need to put the, the word custom rule, as we saw from the result of the search. You put a comma, and then you put the ID of the specific rule that you want to export. If you have, mo have more than one rule that you want to export, you put a comma and put all the subsequent uh, 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 IDs of those rules in the Postgres uh, database. So you save that file, exit VI, and now we have that particular file ready. The next step involves exporting the content of it. Now the command that we are going to issue next is the again the same content management tool script. The action is export. I wanted to put this as a package so we can actually import it in the admin tab as an extension as we do from the apps from the app exchange. And then the file this is the file that we just created with VI where we put the what we need to export. And the dash E is for everything. In that, that means if you find a reference set, take the content of the actual reference set and uh, include it in the export as well. So here we see the, the content management tool uh, doing its job.
and notice that it has a QID map. I didn't even know that that, that the rule require, required that. Notice that it has a reference set, uh, uh, but also the, and the content of the reference set, all those files are in there, are actually included in here. Uh, the, the, and, and six of the custom rules. And this, this has to do with building blocks and any other dependency that this wanna, uh, wanna cry detect rule has. The, the content management tool is smart enough to pick up all the dependencies and create this particular file in here that has everything that we need to move it to another system. I'm gonna use FileZilla to export this into my desktop to move it to the other system. So I SSH into F, uh, secure FTP into the into the box, and this is the file that we just created, and I want to drag it into my desktop, and here it is. Now all we need to do is go into the other uh, system, which is my uh, Q Radar. Uh, 731 so again a, a newer version where i'm importing this and i just go into the admin this is 731 so admin is here going to extension management and i'm going to actually add that specific rule id that we just uh, created we click add and we get a warning, say, hey, this has not been signed by IBM. And of course, I, I just did this. I know what I'm doing. And you need to make sure that you do this. It's actually best if you do these things with your, uh, you test these things out with the community edition so you don't screw things up in your production system at all. So notice that it's telling me that it's going to replace. I have uh, this package also installed in this system, so it's going to say I'm going to I'm going to replace the content. There's an option on the uh, CMT tool for update as well. And voila, we have that uh, package uh, installed, and I have my reference set, and its content has been replace by what I brought from the previous system. So we have all these elements move from the other system in here. Again the CMT tool very useful for exporting individual you know things in here. Uh, for example log sources is a sensor type uh, uh, custom rule is as we just did custom rule so uh, you can be selective in one of the things that you want to move from a system into uh, the same or newer uh, version of curator